Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to jump into some advanced combat as well as advanced mobility tips and tricks that will help you out in New World. There's a lot to really go over today, so I'm going to take you guys through every single tip and trick that I currently know and that has been talked about recently in the open beta as well as closed beta going into full release. So before we get started into the advanced mobility and combat tips and tricks, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. There is a lot to talk about today regarding these tips and tricks, so let's jump straight into it. The very, very first one we're going to take a look at is a fairly obvious one. It's going to be the ability cancel or AC. So you can actually cancel the recovery of your light attack by using an ability cancel or any ability in general to make that ability cancel happen. Definitely a very, very solid one, easy to use. We also have the dodge cancel. A lot of you guys know about this one already. I've talked about it quite a bit before. Swapping weapons during a dodge cancels the dodge's recovery animation. This recovery animation normally holds you in a place for a moment. So this trick allows for fluid and continuous movement. Very, very helpful in the open world of New World, whether PvP or PvE. We also have Next up, the one stamina dodge. So when you take yourself to zero stamina, then you enter a phase of stamina recovery where you must wait until you reach 100 stamina again. However, if you haven't hit zero stamina, you can always perform a dodge even at one stamina. So just keep that in mind. Obviously, you can use that to your advantage with your stamina bar being where it is. So like I said, there's a lot to jump into today. The next one we have is going to be the slide attacking. So to slide end a dodge within a certain radius of the aimed target, upon ending a dodge, perform a light attack. The timing for the light attack isn't strict. You can even buffer the attack during the dodge. If successful, your light attack will slide you farther than its typical motion extraction. This is going to be insanely, insanely strong for certain weapons. Obviously, the GA or Great Axe and Hammer is going to be very, very strong with this. You're also going to have this Spear and Sword being very, very strong. Unfortunately, the Hatchet and Rapier don't really work with slide attacking, so keep that in mind. But like I said, very, very strong with Great Axe and Hammer. Definitely very, very strong with uh, you know, medium armor currently being very, very high up in the meta or, you know, a lot of people starting to use it at the very least in open world. We also have the skip musket reload. The musket is a bit finkel. So with reloading, if you fire and dodge, it'll actually cancel your reload animation. You have to restart it by pressing left mouse button or right mouse button. If you fire, DC, and then perform an action attack ability, attack with your other weapon, then the musket will be reloaded when you return to it. So you might need to pause to understand exactly what I'm saying here, but there is a lot that goes into this one. The skip musket reload is going to be very, very strong though, to make sure you get as many bullets out as possible and chunk like this guy's doing to me right now up in this fort. So the musket's a very, very strong weapon. Like I said, very, very unique mechanic to use there. We also have the skip, hip fire, and slow. So this is one thing that happens a lot when you are using the musket and bow specifically so after hip firing either of these weapons like I said bow or musket uh, you are going to well really not press anything else you just really will walk very very slowly so dodging will actually skip the state for both if you you know read that right there dodging will actually skip that you know slow animation after a hip fire if you guys have ever hip fired with either the musket or bow you know what I'm talking about there's this very very weird kind of slow movement that you do after a hip fire and uh, like I said very, very way, uh, easy way to get away from that. We also have the speedy spell light attack. So after performing a light attack with a staff or ice gauntlet, you'll have your move speed slowed similar to the musket bow hip fire recovery, canceling the state with a dodge strangely lets you a light attack faster. This is not the case for melee weapons. In medium armor, you can get a decent DPS increase by dodging and firing very, very quickly. So there's a lot of, like I said, mechanics that a lot of people won't know just coming into the game for the first time. So I hope you guys, if you have not already, made sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on, as this kind of information is going to be very, very vital into some of these PvP fights, and also just maneuvering very, very quickly around New World. 
there's, like I said, a ton more where it comes from regarding combat and mobility that a lot of people probably just haven't found out yet. So I will keep you up to date as we move forward. And uh, there's one more specifically I want to talk about before we call it on the advanced mobility and combat tricks. So this one's going to be the DC haste bow. So the bow has bonus haste when you swap to it. And after a dodge, to get both bonuses, assuming you're in light armor, start with the bow equipped and perform two dodge cancels in a quick succession. This will actually make sure you use both of those haste bonuses and make sure to move very, very quickly. Very, very strong with the bow build, obviously, in New World. So I do want to say there's a lot more where that came from. So if you have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. <laughs>